Hello, thanks for having a look at this short demonstration of the new exciting split keyboard function appearing for the first time on EL Edit version 2. The split keyboard function allows you to set a voice or part of a voice to play above or below any given point on the keyboard. This gives you the opportunity to play different sounds from different parts of the same keyboard which just enhances your musical textures even further and reduces the number of registration changes required to make sudden changes in sound. For example, you could set a piano sound for the top octave of the lower keyboard for the occasional fill-in riff whilst maintaining a solo instrument on the upper manual and an accompaniment on the lower part of the lower keyboard. To be honest, the flexibility is only limited by your imagination. So how does it work in EL Edit? The facility is available to EL90 and above instruments so far and the voices used have to be split ready voices from the B Software voice library. These are included with version 2 of the program. So let's start by opening the split voice disk library. We'll copy three voices for this demonstration. We'll have strings 1, split, and then we'll have trumpet 1, and then we'll find piano 1. So first of all, let's see how the split is adjusted. So if we select the strings 1 split, select sample A, could be sample B as well, and then click the split button. A new window appears showing the split point and whether you'll be able to play the sound or above or below this point. So this is the voice range on the keyboard. For this part of the demo, we'll check the box A plus B to make sure what we do applies to both sample parts in the voice. So let's switch it round. We'll just click on sounding above and listen to the riff result of that. So let's move the split point now, say to sounding above C4. And now you can hear the result. So using the other two voices now I copied earlier, let's look at how sample presets can be used to good effect. So we'll make the presets first. So we'll create the trumpet preset, trumpet split. I've already done it before, but I'll do it again. So we'll create trumpet split two this time. And then we'll change to the piano voice. And as we can see, it's not in sample A, it's in sample B. So we'll add the new piano split two into that. Okay, so what we do now is we want to put the trumpet one into sample A. And then we'll put the piano one, which is already there, into sample B. So now what we want to do is want to say let's set the piano to sound from middle C downwards. So we click on split. We make sure that this is unchecked, the A plus B. We find middle C and click on sounding below and then we switch to the trumpet we set the split to sound well it'll be from C sharp because the middle C is the one highest note on the piano sounding above C sharp so using presets like this allows you to combine lots of split effects together simply and just making your own settings very easily so once you've created a voice like this you can then store it in a number of ways. So this one is now going to be, as we can see, piano and trumpet split. And that's shown in our bank there, piano and trumpet. So we can then send that directly over to the EL, just upload it, simply click on send bank 
and the whole bank of 16 user voices is sent over to the instrument ready to use in your registrations. And show library, if we wanted to, we can simply just add that piano and trumpet to our split library there. So that's a ready-made one for later on, and you can audition that any time you want. Or you can save it as an individual voice, or you can save that whole voice bank, or you can even export it as an MDR file, just in case you haven't got the direct MIDI connection with your instrument. Okay, so thanks again for having a look at this exciting new function within ELEDIT, and I hope to uh, speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.